So now we're going to be doing our third part of VLOOKUP over here where you will going to enter a part name. It will going to go to the repository and will be able to tell you if that part name really exists or does not. So we will be entering our part name in the cell location F2 and the results will going to come back in cell location F3. So our formula will then be written in cell location F3. So this is how the formula goes. You start out with an equal sign and now you write an if condition an if condition which will going to look up for the value that you will going to feed in into the column to see if it is found if it is found it will return located otherwise it will return not located so the if condition actually has three parts the first part is v look up so the v look up is basically trying to look for the data within the bounds. You feed in the value. Where does the value come from? Well, we are feeding in the part number. So the part number comes in, and the part number is coming from cell location B2. So we go to cell location B2. That's where the part number is coming in. And then we are searching into the list starting from cell location B8 all the way through the cell location let's say D18 so just to have a little data set okay now in this data set where are we looking we are looking for part name which is not in the first column it's actually in the second column so we are saying the value that I want back is coming from cell location or the column number two from the data set once you provide this information, it will going to take a part number from you, let's say it's 465, and it goes to that part number 465 and grabs the part name from the second column, which is MSIMQ, and will return that value back to you. Now, what you need to check to see is whether that return part matches the part number that you enter in cell location F2. If that is the case, then you are supposed to tell that I was able to successfully locate it. So, located. Otherwise, you will going to inform not found. So, that completes your if condition. If the lookup on this location matches what I have entered, then located otherwise not located. So what, now when I press enter it says not found of course because I did not enter a value. Now if I enter a value over here let's say I enter A, B, C of course it's not found because that's not the matching for 465. But if I enter M, S, I, M, Q and I press enter it says it was able to successfully locate the value. So that's all this tutorial does it asks for an input and locates it for you or tell you if it was not able to locate it. Hope you would enjoyed this tutorial. Catch you in the next one. Thank you for watching.